tell me a bit about what it is, what you do, why you're here, and, and, and what, what, what you're demonstrating. Thank you, Tom, for stopping by. Mohammed Al Muslih from Harriet Watt University. I'm assistant professor and lead the automotive engineering, but I also oversee our autonomous vehicles and robotics lab. Okay. So lots of robotics, lots of future transport. This is an amazing yeah. dog, amazing yes. sort of robot dog here. What practical uses can, can you foresee, or has this already been put, put to? Absolutely. So with the, this kind of robots, uh, we basically eliminate the wheels. So that means you can climb stairs, you can go on uneven terrains, you can board the bus, go out of the bus. And basically the use case that we are presenting here is an inspection in general. So it could, for example, inspect your fleet uh, after they come back after a day, such as public transportation, rather than send people to check tires, for example. You send 10 dogs to check the tires. Now here is something important. They don't eliminate the human factor. They only make it easier. So humans may need to deal with some basically critical stuff or sort them out. But rather than send 10 people to the field, you send 10 robots and have one human do the critical thinking where you need to really pay attention to details. Uh, it can also be used for infrastructure uh, inspection, for example, if you want to look at pavement or things like that. So these can operate entirely auto. I mean, when we looked at it now, it was being remote controlled. But True. In these use cases, would they, they would operate autonomously, wouldn't they? So initially, you will have to develop a map, a 3D map using laser ranging and detection. Sometimes you have the map ready, and this is what we are working in, for example, in our research lab, to have map ready for specific places, and eventually the Emirates of Dubai. And then you could deploy them based on that map. You could use location pens, but then sensors on board will deal with obstacles that are not in the original map. Uh, stationary obstacles, such as a parked vehicle, or dynamic obstacles, moving people, moving cars, things like that, and then navigate to cover the full area. You could even have what we call as the swarm robotic setup. Different robots talk to each other and tell them, oh, I covered this area, don't go there. Or the road is blocked here, go find alternative route, and so on.